Today I'm going to show you how I prepare my raised beds for next spring using something that we all have in our yards. I'm Emma Walker and this is Sonny's Place. one tree down, two more that I'm going to rake, and then I'll show you what we're going to do. Look at these amazing leaves. It's just awesome. I have most of the leaves raked up. Nice little piles right here too. And the tree back there. So normally what people do is they'll rake up leaves and put them on their raised beds or just on their beds in general and uh, use them as a mulch. And the leaves slowly break down and provide all these wonderful nutrients and start building humus and um, which is just organic matter in the soil and create this like leaf mold that's really really great for root growth. I'm actually going to do something a little bit different because I want to speed up the process of the breakdown or I want to speed up the leaf breakdown so I don't want to put whole leaves in there. I mean, my goal is not to create a mulch uh, per se, it's to create a, a faster breakdown of the leaves. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I picked up this uh, leaf mulcher to help me break down the leaves. Um, I'm actually going to run it through a couple of times uh, to get a finer, finer uh, leaf breakdown and uh, speed up the process um, of the leaves breaking down in my garden beds. Now I got to put this thing together. I hope it's not too complicated. I'm actually one of those weird people that uh, reads the instructions before I actually put something together. Are you one of those people? Let me know in the comments below. Or you're probably one of those that just wings it. My husband's like that until he can't figure it out and then he's got to go to the manual. <laughs> with some cutting lines and they give you some extras for when you need them. I think that's pretty cool. I like that. All right, so we're not actually going to use a collection bag. This actually has instructions for one and I believe that's what this strap is for us to hold that in place. We're not actually going to use that. We're going to do it a little differently.
let's get this going and see how it works. You can actually attach a, a, a bag to contain what you are mulching. Um, I'm actually using something different. Um, I didn't want to deal with having to, uh, you know, change out bags all the time. So I'm actually using my handy dandy kiddie pool here to collect most of the mulch because I'm actually going to be putting most of it back into here because I want to run it a couple of times and get a really fine, uh, fine mulch on these leaves for a faster breakdown. So it's actually working out great, but because it's a little windy, it's blowing some of the mulch off to the side. <laughs> uh, we're actually under the awning of the shop. Uh, there's very little wind here, so we should be able to collect most of the mulched uh, leaves from here. So I guess we should keep going. I think this is going to be awesome. I ran that same group. Look at this. Look at how small that is. That's pretty amazing. All right, so I wanted to show you guys what this looks like. So on the left here is the freshly raked leaves. This is one pass through that mulcher, which is actually good. That would work, but I want it finer. Look at that. That's gonna break down really great and build some really great soil for me. But that looks fantastic, look at that. That's gonna break down so much more quickly and build all of that wonderful organic matter and humus in uh, the soil uh, for next spring. I mean, that's just amazing. So I'm really liking this, uh, this mulcher. There it is, I'm actually really happy with this. I bought this in early spring off of Amazon and so I couldn't tell you how much uh, how much it costs because it, it's been a little while I'll have to go through my uh, my history so I'll probably put that in the show notes um, but anyway it's just a works uh, leaf mulcher it's nothing fancy um, and after using it um, I probably would recommend the container bag so if you've got some laying around for uh, that you get from the city if you live in the suburbs or if you live in a city um, I highly recommend those um, I'm gonna actually purchase some to use for this from now on uh, it just makes it easier and then that way like on windy days like today I don't have to move around and try and find a spot that uh, where my leaves won't blow around so anyway I highly recommend this this is actually really awesome and it created some really really nice mulched leaves for me to use in the raised beds so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and uh, and put that mulch in my beds and call it a day We've got all this wonderful uh, leaf mulch in here that's going to break down and just build up the soil. The soil in here is actually really great already, so we're just kind of helping it out. Now that that's on there, it's going to break down quickly. It's just going to be amazing. Look at that. You can't beat that. That's just amazing. That's it for us today. Thank you so much for joining us. If you like this video or other videos like it, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that little subscribe button below. It really does help us. You can also hit that little bell icon below. That way you get notifications when a new video is up. Thanks again for watching. Thank you for your support. Adios.